Bears fans, I am backstage with the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Hey there, Bare Knuckle News fans. I am backstage with Jimmy Rivera at BKFC 26. An unusual fight tonight for you. How are you feeling? Uh, good. I feel good. Um, I'm excited. I did not the result I wanted. You know, we got the draw, but uh, it was fun to be back and freaking compete. And I'm a fighter and sat in the sidelines for like a year and a half. So to be back and fight, fight Howard Davis, who was a tough young kid, and we had a blast in there. It was good. What, if anything, surprised you about fighting in the squared circle? Uh, you know what, I actually thought it would be a little bigger. It was a lot smaller than what I thought. I mean, I don't know if they have different size rings, do they? No, I thought it was way bigger. I mean, when I went to Orlando, that looked a lot bigger than this one. But besides that, I had a blast. What would you have done differently? It was a draw, a great fight. But looking back, where do you feel like you could have maybe put more effort in if you had to? Come forward a little bit more. You know what I mean? I had my coach yelling at me coming forward. And I definitely came forward, but I needed to stay in. And, uh, one of the things I'm definitely going to work on. He's already shaking his head, yeah, over there. I can see him out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> you fought so many famous fighters. Was the game plan to really stick to the clinch because you're a shorter fighter? You know what? He kept overthrowing some stuff and kept falling in. So sometimes I wasn't even trying to clinch. You know, I know the ref yelled at me one time, but I had my arms up like this. And he was saying clinch. I'm like, I'm not even rapping him. He's rapping me. But, it, I mean, it's smart. Howard is a smart fighter. Um, I told him in a couple of years he's going to be unstoppable. I don't know if he'll still be at 45. I think he'll be at 55, but I told him, a couple more years, man, you're going to be unstoppable wherever, wherever weight class you're in. Um, he's up and coming. And he's a young kid, and uh, I'm looking forward to get back in there with him and fight for the belt at 145. You had a controversial call in your fight. Let's talk a little bit about that. At the end, they have replay here in Florida. Okay, what happened with the replay? You tell me. <laughs> I heard a couple of things. I felt the shot was afterwards, but I don't know. Then all of a sudden, I went back into the fourth round, and I see the ref right before the fourth round is about to start. He's telling everybody eight count. I'm like, when the f was the eight count? What? Cause you're just saying something. You're yes and you. No, I'm agreeing with you. Oh, okay. It was very controversial because we have replay in Florida, and it, it it's just not always. They had a, if you go back and look at the fight, you'll see that they have it retroactively. So it was very interesting. Your hands. You seem to be very comfortable fighting without gloves. You're a great wrestler. 23 wins. MMA is your game. You gave up a lot of your tools tonight, but you did an outstanding job. Thank you. What tools did I give up? I didn't wrestle enough. Yeah, you want me to wrestle enough? No, I want you to stay in bare knuckle. Uh, no. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I want you to stay in bare knuckle. Oh, you want me to stay bare? No, no, I met. I didn't wrestle enough in the match. Did you want me to wrestle a little bit more? Use a little more. Of my no, no more wrestling. Uh, no more wrestling. No, um, I felt. Uh, I felt great. My hands felt great. I have a great boxing coach who wrapped my hands, so my hands feel good. Surprisingly, I thought I'd be cut up a lot. I got this one little cut that doesn't stop. It's like a little thing. I asked the doctor to tell like, hey, dude, does it need a stitch or anything? He's like, I could glue it, but I'm like, all right, don't glue it. I'll just keep wiping it for now. But besides that, I'm very surprised how I came out compared to going like going in. I thought I was going to come out a lot worse. I mean, at this time, I'm you know, married two kids, so it doesn't really matter how I come out. <laughs> Speaking of two kids, I overheard you earlier. It's quite a night for you. You're uh, having a baby, or by the time this airs, you maybe already have it, had a baby. My wife is not feeling good, and my mother-in-law, I think, is going to take her to the hospital <laughs> soon, and I'm going to have uh, another baby on the way. <laughs> so it's a little nerve-wracking right now because uh, I'm not there, but I have an early morning flight so I could get back and see her. I, I booked it on purpose. So I'm hoping my wife could hold it in just a little longer so I could get back and be there for it. I know the nurses are probably going to wait. what the f happened to you? I'm like, she beat the shit out of me. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to go with her the whole time. You like that, right? Yeah. My wife kicked my ass because she was so upset with me because I ate in front of her while she was in labor the first time. So she got really upset. You're a cruel and unusual man. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question. Dodson and Brimage have both signed at BKFC. You fought them at 135. Any chance you'll go back down and fight them again? Uh, there's a good possibility for yeah. They actually, I heard a couple rumors they might come up to 45, so I'm willing to, willing to do it. I mean, Brimish fought a couple times at 45. I think one time, I'm sorry, he's 1-0 at 45. Dotson, I could see him go either way. That could definitely happen. Um, I see next, though, I mean, running back with Davis and running for the belt. Right after you have your baby. <laughs> As long as I'm cleared, I'll, we'll have the baby, I'll get back in the training camp, and we'll go run that fight back. 
Before we go tonight, Jamie, is there anything else you would like to add? Maybe thank some sponsors? Uh, yeah, you know, I love to thank Tiger Showman's, my team. I have a school in Short Hills in New Jersey, so anybody ever wants to come and train or just come and say hi, get a, get an autograph or whatever, they're more than welcome to do it. Uh, team Tiger Showman, Danny Showman, Ron Showman, my box coach, Ray Velez, all my teammates. Uh, big shout out to Elijah, who uh, helped me out for this fight and getting me ready for Howard Davis. Um, I want to thank you, first round management, eat clean, bro. Um, Edge, my PT, um, I mean, everybody that supports me is a great thing. I want to thank you, my wife, for dealing with me, especially while she's 37 weeks pregnant. I really appreciate that. And uh, to my baby girl, I love you, Penelope. And then uh, I got another girl on the way, so I love her too. I can't tell you the name yet, but. Mr. Rivera, Jimmy Rivera, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with us. For Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Sigari, and this is. Jimmy Rivera. And no one beats us to the punch. punch.